Where in Europe he seemed to be instrumental in Barcelona's dominance, back in Brazil, the opinions aren't nearly as generous. His critics demand he plays with a more defensive commitment. Many of his critics, including coach Luis Felipe Scolari, feel that with the Blaugrana, Alves can afford to relinquish his defending duties for one of his incessant forward runs. Because the likes of Sergio Busquets, Carlos Puyol and Gerard Pique are covering his back. With the Selesal, however, he's more of a liability because he darts up the right flank on a team predisposed to attack, the left side is free to be exploited, leaving a lane known amongst the opposition as Alves Avenue. Alves must wonder how hard it is to please the most successful football country in the world especially when you consider Brazil's carefree playing traditions. Then there's the fact he has scored some crucial goals for the Salasau, including one in their 2007 Copa America final victory over Argentina. But it's with Barcelona where he's won every major club trophy imaginable including a record six as a member of arguably the greatest club team of all time in 2009. It's that kind of form that Brazilians demand when he wears the green and gold. He's free to attack, but he needs to defend. Scolari hasn't been subtle about his concerns on the Alves side of the pitch. Having tried and failed to use Manchester United right-back Raphael, and most recently Fluminense Jean, who is a natural midfielder as alternatives. But of all the critics back home, there is one man who's his biggest fan. 2002 World Cup winning captain Kafu sees Alves as his natural heir. No matter how you look at it, Danny Alves is Brazil's best option at right back, making the position his to lose. Considering he'll be 31 and likely playing his final World Cup, Alves has no intention of losing his position on the right flank, nor a single game at Brazil 2014.